Hello and welcome to another one of Dynamic CCTV's technical videos. My name's Nathan Garner. I'm the project manager and one of the tech support team leaders here at Dynamic CCTV. Today we're going to be taking a quick look to introduce the new Hike Central workstation that's become available from Hike Vision. So this is aimed at the small and medium businesses for small kind of solutions that need the Hike Central software. So this is a unit that comes preloaded with the Hike Central software, so both the back end and front end are installed on this all-in-one workstation. And this will allow you to add up to 32 cameras to the unit, and it's also got some of the additional modules incorporated in the system. So when you buy the unit, it already has the licenses on the system. The only limitations with this is there's only a limited amount per each of the licenses and can't expand this system from its capabilities which we're going to go through now. So within this we still get our usual live view and playback. This is up to 32 camera channels that can be added to the unit and you can still use the visual tracking system which we've demoed on another one of our videos. The Hick Central version that this is based on is the 1.7 version of Hike Central. We do also have the access control and video intercom license on this as well as security control which will be the radar units that you can also add on to this for tracking with their PEZs. We've also got in the entrance and exit control so this is the parking management using the MPR cameras through Hike Central so you can have up to four MPR cameras added to this workstation using these licenses and this also comes with the temperature and mask module enabled so you can add in the Minmo terminals, for example, or the temperature screening cameras and still do the temperature screen reports through this Hague Central system. So we can scroll down and look at some of the limitations. So you can see there we're limited to 32 cameras that can be added to the Hague Central workstation, the 32 channel unit. You can also add up to eight video intercom devices and four MPR cameras to the system. You can also add in your access controllers for your door control, stuff like that, onto this one system. So it's an all-in-one unit. So if we go down here, you can see that we've got our four MPR cameras that we can add into our entrance and exit. With the access control, we can have up to eight doors added into Hike Central with this all-in-one workstation that's now available from us to available pre-order from Dynamic CCTV. Um, so these are some of the limitations with the units, full breakdown of what licenses are actually included. Now what we can do is we can go into the actual unit itself. So I've got mine connected here on TeamViewer. So this is on the actual workstation itself, the all-in-one unit. So you can see we've got our watchdog as we normally would on our Hike Central workstation here. So now I can go into our web client. If I log in this one. So you can see this is the normal web front end that we're fairly familiar with, there's nothing really changed in this and it's just easier solution for is it like a package solution where you buy the workstation which comes with the hardware Dell unit and also the license is pre-installed for the small to, to medium businesses. If I go into our licenses details, so you can see we can add up to 32 standard cameras, we can add up to four AMPR cameras, and we've also got the ability to add two of facial recognition cameras to the system. Our access points are the number of doors that we can add into the Hike Central system. We've got 32 alarm inputs and also two radar units um, on this license as well. We can also add in up to eight indoor stations for the intercoms because this does come preloaded with the intercom module. You can see we've got the alarm enabled on this unit as well as the video intercom module the entrance and exit module which is the parking management system from Hike Central and we've also got the temperature analysis for that. The same as we normally would with a normal Hike Central installation we can go into our physical view and we can go into add a device and I'm just going to add in our main MVR and I'm going to add in specify cameras because we can't add in all the channels because it is limited to 
32 channels on this system. So for now I'm just going to add in our car park cameras to this unit. So then I can click add at the bottom. And that's added in our four car park cameras into our Hike Central server. So we can go into our logical view. And you can see our four car park cameras are added into there. And that's in our main NVR screen there. What I can then do is I can also go in and add one of our MPR cameras. So if I add this one in. You can see that's added our MPR camera into the actual system. But we need to tell Hike Central that that's actually an MPR camera. Go into our home page and go into license details. And you can see next to the MPR camera, we've got an option for configuration. We click on that and we need to assign the MPR camera. So we can select our demo MPR camera and click add. So that tells Hick Central that it is an AMPR camera and on this all-in-one workstation we do have the ability to add another three AMPR cameras if we wanted to into the system there as well. So I know a lot of people have used the standard AMPR cameras with your normal allow and block list where you have to import and export Excel sheets. With Hike Central it's really easy to actually create a vehicle list. So I can just call this Dynamic Vehicles and create the list there. And to add in my vehicle, all I need to do is click on add, enter my license plate number. I can enter in my name. If you do have persons created on Hick Central already for the access control side of things, you can select those and link the vehicles to those persons. So you don't need to add in the details manually. So you can see that's created there now. And so it's nice and easy to be able to add in new plates instead of having to import and export the Excel sheets to the actual camera, you can go in and just create those through the web client so it makes it a lot easier to manage the systems. It's a lot more now cost effective to do using the Hike Central all-in-one workstation that you can get from us now. So what we can do is we can also have the parking management side of things enabled on this license. So we can go in and we can set our MPR camera as the actual device for the parking lot. So you can see that's added in there now for the parking lot side of things. So for the MPR control, if we wanted to only be able to open the gate on plates that are added to the actual dynamic vehicle list, we can go to vehicle matched event, which is going to be related to dynamic vehicles list, which are created. And I can select our car park, which is dynamic as the system. And what we can do then is we can link an alarm output, go to add, and I can select our demo AMPR camera and I can select alarm output one and then add that in. So if any vehicle drives through that's detected on the allowed list, which I've configured there, or the dynamic list, should I say, that would trigger the alarm output on the AMPR camera, which can trigger the actual gate on site and through that. So it's a lot easier to manage, especially if you have customers that need to update their allow and block list regular, or if they need a system to manage the parking on site. So this will allow you to limit the amount of parking spaces that are available and have full barrier control as well, which will also link in the description to our other videos, which cover the parking management and the temperature screen solutions in a bit more detail through the Hike Central. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to go in and add one of our access controllers. So if I go to access control device, you can see there we've got an access controller on the network. So I can select this device and add it to device list. I'm just going to call this access controller. Just enter in the details there. So that's added in the two doors 
on the actual unit so you can see I've still got the ability to add in six more access points the licenses that come with the Pipe Central workstation and we can go in and edit our settings if we need to for the door controller if we're linking it up to different things and we can go into our main configuration page here and this will connect into the web front end of the access controller for any settings that we need to do within this system if we go back one and click on the access controller name we've got the channel information so we've got door one door two and then the access controller's alarm inputs there as well. So to actually configure the doors, we need to go into logical view, select our access controller, and then click on the doors tab. And there you can see we've got door one and door two. If we click on door one, we can go in and set whether or not the door can act normally open or normally closed, how the exit button needs to be configured, the opening duration, and also if you have a person with extended access, then you can set the length of time that the door would stay open for when they are going through the door as well, whether that be key card access or pin code or facial recognition is the same kind of setting for that. You can also enable the entrance entry and exit counting so you can count how many people are in the building using the actual access control and you can configure all the different card reader settings through this section as well for that. And just so show how easy it is to add a person I'm just going to create our access levels first. So the access level is the access permissions that will be assigned to users to be able to enter through the doors. And so I've just selected both doors and I've set it to an all day template. So anyone that's added to the system will be able to gain access through those doors all day, every day. So if we go into our person section, we can go in and add a person to this system. I'm just gonna enter in myself here. And if we were using the minimal terminals or temperature screening, could add in our skin surface temperature as well. If we're using pin code access, we can set up our pin code in here. So that will be for your key card, um, your door controllers with the keypads wired into them. If you're using cards, you can assign a card from your PC that you logged in with the web client. It doesn't have to be on the workstation itself. If you're remotely logged into it via its IP address, as long as you have a USB card reader plugged in, you can add the card to the person as well, or the fingerprint if needs be. If you're using the facial recognition terminals, then you can upload a picture or take a picture from the device or even the webcam that's connected to your PC as well to assign that to the person. So you can see I've added myself in there and I can go into our access group tab and I've created a test group which you can see there and I set that to the access. What I can do is I can add an existing person which is myself to the system and click add and now I'll get a pop-up asking me if I want to apply the settings to the device now and if I apply now that's applied me as a person to the access controller. So it's a lot easier for people to be able to update systems, add in users, be able to run reports. It's a very powerful platform, the Hike Central VMS software, and there's a lot of different things that they can do with it. With this new workstation, it makes it more of a viable solution for small to medium businesses that may not have larger systems. And this makes it a lot more cost effective and also gives them the benefits of being able to easily manage systems for that as well. So there are some limitations when it comes to how many remote users you can have connected into this Hick Central system. So you can have a maximum of eight users which can connect into this Hike Central all-in-one workstation. So it is limited, a lot more limited than the larger systems, but this is designed for your small to medium businesses and for that as well. And then this is just a bit more information on the actual hardware spec of the actual all-in-one workstation itself. So it is Intel i3 processor that has been specced in the unit with 8GB of RAM. And we can see there it's a small chassis that has been used. And so this can fit under desks or in smaller areas rather than needing a full server rack and system for the actual Hike Central. So it's perfect for um, smaller scale scenarios. And with this, you still get the 36 months of warranty as well. So that's just a quick look at the new Hike Central all-in-one workstation. Just to introduce 
that to you today. And so this is available to pre-order from us now and we should have these in the UK at the beginning of next year. So if you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with us here at Dynamic CCTV. If you have any technical questions on the Hike Central software or the Hike Central workstations, please get in touch with myself and the rest of the team at project at dynamic-cctv.com and we'll be able to assist with any inquiries that you may have. If you want to know anything about the pricing or anything with the system, please get in touch with your local Dynamic CCTV business development manager and they'll be able to help you out with that or you can contact our sales teams as well but thank you for joining me today I hope this has given you an insight into the new Hike Central workstation and hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one thank you very much cheers bye